Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how I make this simple kielbasa sausage rice. I love making these simple and quick recipes on a weeknight where we're short on time and we just need to get out the kitchen fast. I start off by cutting all my ingredients and chopping up my onion. That way when I get to the stove, everything is ready to go. You can cut your sausage as large or as small as you like. You can even cut it in fours if you just prefer a smaller bite size. I made two cups of rice for four people and I went ahead and washed the rice and then I added two cups of water. You're then gonna add one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. Oof, I hope I said that correctly. And then you're gonna add one packet of the beef bouillon i used goya but you can use any um beef bouillon that you have i added about a teaspoon of garlic paste and then salt to taste oh yes and about one teaspoon or two teaspoons of oil i then place it on the stove on medium high heat and i just like to stir it and make sure that the bouillon has completely dissolved in the water and you're gonna let it boil for a good five minutes and then you're going to go ahead and cover your rice. Once your water has dissolved enough where you could still see a little bit bubbling through, then you're gonna go ahead and cover it up and place it on low for 20 to 25 minutes and you're not gonna open up the rice at all while it's cooking. This is exactly how your rice should look. You're then going to brown your sausage and go ahead and add your onions in the center and cook those through until they're translucent. If you're new to our channel, I want to go ahead and thank you for dropping by watching our video. Please don't forget to subscribe and remember that nothing's ever going to be complicated in our channel. Everything is always nice and easy and quick. Once your onions are completely caramelized, you're going to go ahead and scramble some eggs. I went ahead and did three since I did two cups of rice and then just place them in the middle and cook them through. And then at the end, you're just going to go ahead and combine all your ingredients together if you want you can um, combine them in the pot but i went ahead and used a pyrex to combine everything together this dinner was absolutely delicious i went ahead and paired it with some steamed broccoli and not to mention that it was done very quickly i hope you guys enjoyed and please don't forget to subscribe and return for next week's dinner thank you